for me, making the oil is about trying to help people get off the pharmaceutical treadmill. Um, I do not believe that our current medical, uh, uh, the, the allopathic model um, is working. I think, I think, our, I think uh, our medicine and hospitals are great for trauma medicine and accidents, but I think they've got it completely wrong when it comes to healthcare. They do not, they do not expound preventative health. They only want to correct a situation and they only treat the symptoms. And when you treat the symptoms, you're never going to get to the cause. The plant gets to the cause. So although my sister's marked down and ticked off as a cancer survivor because she lived longer than five years with chemo, she died um, because of the chemo. So I've always been interested in alternative health. I've always been interested in nutrition from a very, very young age. And I just felt that there must have been a different way of dealing with this. And in her search, I went looking for alternatives. And the oil was one of them. And as I started working with the oil, I just realized it was God's precious plant because it seems to balance everything in the body. It doesn't matter whether you have cancer or diabetes or high blood pressure or multiple sclerosis or fibromyalgia. The oil seems to help everybody. I can't understand why such a valuable plant is considered to be illegal. I've taken it myself just to see how my body reacts to it. But um, there are many who have been taking the oil now for many, many months. Uh, as a consequence, I've, I've had a chap who's got um, uh, rheumatoid arthritis of the bone. He could hardly walk. He was on all these painkillers and anti-inflammatories. And it just wasn't working for him. He started on the oil. After six months, he was with, off all of his pharmaceutical drugs. His doctor couldn't believe it. He had no inflammation in his body. And there are cancer patients whose cancers are shrinking, cancer patients whose cancers have gone. Um, and yeah, it's, a, it's just, it's a blessing. I do grow my own, but obviously that's a seasonal thing. Mm -hmm. I'm very um, particular um, because the plant must be organic as far as I'm concerned. There can't be any chemicals or pesticides on it. Okay. Um, and then I think a very important thing is the alcohol that you use to make the oil because the alcohol, um, I've heard of people making it with benzene and nail polish remover and I don't think that could be considered healthy. Mm -hmm. And I make it with 99.9% .9 ethyl alcohol and um, it basically all evaporates and you have a very, very pure product that's left remaining.